You know why we're having this meeting, right, Gary? Is it about Garrison? It's about what you said to Mr. Gas. Another complaint from the writers of the manuscript that you have been editing. Do you recall what you said to Mr. Garrison? Something about the protagonist? You said his main protagonist was a shameless self-insert to compensate for his failing marriage. That does sound familiar. See, this is what I'm talking about. It seems in the past years since we've been working from home, your, your comments and edits on certain manuscripts have become a lot more hostile and personal. You're reading way too deeply into this. <sighs> Look, I know current circumstances are tough, and I know you're struggling as you're by yourself at home at the moment, but you can't take your frustrations out on the client. Your role is to edit and oversee these writers, it's not insult them. We here at Dodo Publishing have to show respect. But those puzzle novels they write are so boring. I could create a far greater mystery. Good for you, because you won't be working with them anymore. Wait, hang on, Marcus. Look, we're going to be taking away your clients, all right? We're going to give you a new one. This new client has requested there to be no Zoom meetings, just the emails. That should be easier. No Zoom meetings? Look, you are just treat this client well. Think of it as going back to training on proper manners. I'm sending you over their first draft now. You must read it properly and leave constructive criticism in the comments. <sighs> Goodbye, Gary. Lonely. Rude. I could play nice. Just you watch. Interesting title, Mr. Morgan Evermore. Hmm. Amateur, this script is all over the place. And what's with this formatting? How am I meant to be nice to this? How did this get accepted to Dodo Publishing? It's unreal. Why am I being paired up with this guy? No, no, that's not what's happening. This has to be a joke. There's no way. Impressive code, but that's it, right? There can't be more in the next draft. It's probably nothing. I won't dive too deep into this. Let's take a look. <sighs> Different opening. Suppose it was nothing. There's no message. Didn't have a title last time. <laughs> What's with his titles? And why is two spelt out like that? Too suspicious. <laughs> Too suspicious. Too suspicious? <laughs> One warning. Too suspicious. Three light. There has to be something to that. One warning directed for me. Too suspicious, which is why they changed the codes from last time. For freedom. So they're trapped. Three lines. 
What does that mean? There is something here. I know there is. There were the hidden codes before. Now see in the titles. Mr. Evermore is sending a message. No. A cry for help. Three lines. That's the next clue. Third line on each page. Maybe the punctuation is a code. No, no. There isn't enough to make a cipher from it. Crystals. What about crystal? The word crystal is used in each draft. The constant use of crystal in the text. Could it be crystal meth? Each time crystal is used is how many shipments go out. The first draft had this many. Each draft reveals how much they're moving. It's a sizable drug operation. The writer is trapped, or their prisoner, revealing the code through the story. And the code changes each time. And I'm the only one that can find it. Which is why. They messaged me. So this is what it all means, huh? And the newest draft may confirm this theory. No. No, no, not when I'm this close. I was so close to the truth. They're scared for my safety. I found it, the truth. I need to rescue them. The writer, they were writing for my sake. It was a cry for help. Come on, Marcus. I need you. Gary, how... Gary, what happened to you? No time to explain. You know more than ever more, that mysterious writer who refuses Zoom calls? I need their address. And hurry, they could be in danger. So this is the layer of evil. No, wait, I'm here to help. My name is Gary Banks. I'm from Dodo Publishing Firm. I work as an editor. Mr. Banks? I'm here to rescue the writer, Morgan Evermore, from the drug operations. I deciphered the codes from the manuscript. And now, and now I'm here to rescue them. Did you hit your head when you fell? No, I'm all right. Besides, there's a secret code for Morgan Evermore. I'm Morgan Evermore. You're Morgan Evermore, the writer of Secret Tales. Evermore is just a pen name. My real name is Christina. And you say you're Gary Banks, the editor. Why don't you lay down on that bench? I'll get the first aid kit.
what's all this? This is the mystery unravelled. Mr Banks, would you like me to call an ambulance or the police? What? Uh, no, I'm totally fine. Now this is where it all began. This is the first version, isn't it? Correct, and the first clue. I noticed you placed the hidden messages in the text, spelling out the word, help me. Oh wow, it does spell help me. Interesting. But it, it's the code. It's just a coincidence. Besides, I changed it later. <sighs> crystal, the crystal that was used for the drug operations. The amount of time the word crystal is used is how many shipments go out. That's what you were conveying in the hidden messages. Crystals aren't drugs. They are the power source. Power for the kingpin. No, power for Prince Kanspa. So he can reclaim the throne using his new powers over the elements in his hero's journey. You know, Prince Kanspar and his legion, they use the power of crystal to overthrow the empire of Gansa. So they can save the planet from being mined because it's alive and everything in symbolism. You know the story I've been writing and you've been editing? Prince Kanspers. Prince Kanspa, you haven't read it at all. That's why I stopped sending you my drafts. You weren't doing anything. No, 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 that's not true. Uh, the codes, three lines, the crystals. You were in trouble, which is why you stopped the drafts and why I came here. There are no codes. I was sending you my drafts because I'm a writer and you're an editor. But you weren't doing your job of editing properly. I stopped sending them because of that. But the secrecy and no Zoom meeting ever. I just have a bad internet connection. Oh, listen. There is no hidden message or larger conspiracy. It's either coincidence or your imagination. Coincidence? Imaginations? Where are you going? To get a phone. I'm calling Marcus to collect his employee. How's Dodo publishing these days? Not great, since a scandal you caused. We're lucky Christina didn't press charges against you or the company. And I heard she's with a publisher. And I heard her book selling extremely well. Sorry about that. Why did you want to meet with me? Well, I've started writing myself and thought maybe you could look it over 